Hey, welcome back guys. It is Lance Away and today I'm going over um, basically my five year, approximately five year update on my Roth IRA account. Let's go ahead and take a look here. As you can see, uh, here is the one year uh, graph of my account. And if you look right in the center of the screen, you'll notice a very big dip in January of 2019. Um, Lost uh, probably a good uh, almost seven eight thousand dollars in that time frame, and uh, now the Dow and the um, S and P five hundred are in upswing right now, so we're crushing uh, and approaching all time highs if we haven't already. Total account balance is forty two thousand four hundred thirty five dollars. If you guys were uh, watchers or viewers of my four year video. I had a balance of about twenty four, twenty five thousand there, so a significant uptick uh, since then, and uh, only um, small contributions in between that. Um, currently, for the twenty nineteen calendar year, I only have one thousand dollars of the six thousand dollars allowable uh, placed into uh, the contribution right now. So, I have about. Uh, Seven or five months left in the year to go ahead and get those contributions in. So I'll be looking to uh, get that in. Um, maybe if the market takes any slight dips, of course, you don't want to time it, but uh, yeah. So let's take a look uh, at what my holdings are on the left hand side. You'll see I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holdings, and then SPACs, which is just basically like the uh the savings account that they're going to hold your money into until you choose uh your investments so one of the big things that people do when they get a roth ira is they just put the money in and assume it's going to uh start uh, compounding for you what you actually have to do is select what you want to allocate your contributions towards so in my case, I've got these uh, these eight holdings, and we'll just start from top to bottom. You can see in the center of the screen, I've got my current values. And then um, if I just uh, show you to the, uh, the right, I've got my cost basis and um, cost per shares. Uh, in the center, you can see the total gain and the percentage of total gain or total loss in actually just one case so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the individual holdings so the first one i will show you is fb socks and i'll get the quote for fb socks FB socks it's fidelity select it services portfolio that is the current price there the morning star rating is five out of five with high returns and uh, average to low expenses. Uh, looking in the performance section, you got year to date 32.9%. The one year is 18%. The 10 year is 21% and life of fund 13.3. And uh, this fund was created in 1998. So it does have a nice long track record. And then the expenses is 0.74%, which some people will say it's high, but um, I like to justify my expense ratios by how the fund performs. So when you're making um, an average of 20% for the last 10 years, I can justify paying the higher uh, expense ratio. So top holdings in FB socks, we got Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, Accenture, Cognizant, etc., etc. So financial tech, tech stocks. And uh, that comprises 63% of this fund. So it is hard charging in 2019 and hopefully it will continue. So that is one of my top picks and I have that in my 401k as well. So for FB socks, a cost basis of $7,000 and I have gained 39%, a total of 2781. And current value sits just under $10,000. SCSX is Fidelity Select Software and IT Services Portfolio. The morning start is 5 out of 5. The year to date in the performance section is 27%. Had that low in January. So the one year is 
Um, tenure is 21% and life of fund is 16. And this has been around since 1985, if you can see right there, fund inception. Expenses, 0.72%. 60% uh, is comprised of these 10 stocks, which include Microsoft, Visa, Adobe, Salesforce, MasterCard, PayPal. So some top hitting stocks, you got Google in there as well, IBM. So this is a huge growth stock and uh, I'm happy to take the 27% year to date. You can see my cost basis was 63.23, 39%. 2470 dollars gained in value total is 8794 dollars is the next stock i will uh mutual fund i will talk about fbmpx fidelity select communication services portfolio there is the price this is a consumer cyclical four out of five star morning star rating and uh, returns are average um Year to date is 21%, one year 17%. I like to look at the 10 year is 17.62 and life of fund 12.29. This fund has been around since 1986. Great track record. Expense ratio is 0.82%, so a little bit on the higher end. Um, but you've got some top hitting stocks comprising 70% of this mutual fund. Apple, excuse me, um, <laughs> Alphabet, Facebook, Disney, Comcast, Netflix. So a lot of subscription-based services. You got some Activision, Blizzard, Electronic Arts Gaming, and then you got your cell phones. You got T-Mobile, Verizon. You got Twitter for um, advertising dollars there. So this is a great fund to have, and I think uh, in 2019, this is going to be a hard charger. And for Fidelity Select Communications Services Portfolio, you can see my cost basis was 44.28. The total gain is $16.37. And there is my current value, 44.45. Uh, what's important to note is I actually just bought this. So I bought this on about 5.19. So just last month. So it still has a lot of time to, uh, to get to growing. As I said, the year to date was 21%. And let's just hope hope it continues that trend throughout the year. Now we have FTEC. FTEC is an exchange traded fund, so it shows a little bit differently. But you can see the one year there. That is the graph. Um, things to note: top holdings: Microsoft, Apple, Visa, Cisco, Mastercard, IBM, or excuse me, Intel and Adobe. PayPal is down there. Those are some great stocks. And that makes it 55%. Um, expense ratio is 0 0.08. So it's a very low expense ratio. So this is a great one to have if you want to um, mirror some of what the stock market's doing on the financial, technical, um, tech stock side. FTEC, which is mirroring the um, information technology index. Total uh, gain. 31%. Here is my cost basis under $3,800 and value is $5,000. So that is a nice one and a low expense ratio as well as 1Q. When we go back over 1Q. Here is another mutual fund. This is FS PTX Fidelity Select Technology Portfolio. Current price of uh, each mutual fund share is $17.20. It is a tech stock and the risk is higher. Four out of five stars, returns, expenses, same. Year to date, 28%. Had that uh, dip in January, so the one year is three negative 3.85, but the 10 year is 18.22 and for the life of fund, 12.75. Fund inception, 1981. This has been around almost as long as I've been around, so. 38 years this fund has been around expense ratio 0.72 top 10 holdings make up 55 percent of this mutual fund apple microsoft visa mastercard adobe salesforce netflix all large cap um, companies huge growth so i'm happy to have that in the portfolio you got fs ptx this is fidelity select technology you can see i invested 3580 dollars my total gain was 
and now it's currently sitting at 43.63, almost $800 gain in value. We have Beyond Meat. Beyond Meat is a very interesting hold. Um, I actually bought this early on and it peaked, so I sold it and then rebought back in because I believe in the company. I believe Beyond Meat, this alternative uh, plant-based meat is gonna be a huge, huge uh, change. Uh, it's not just a trend, I think um, globally it's ecologically friendly. Um, so it's just got a big future to it. I'm not vegan or anything, but um, I do see some value in the product after watching some of those uh, Netflix documentaries regarding uh, like the beef practices and how much water it takes to uh, produce a pound of beef. So that is currently down um, minus $12 a share, uh, but it's still early on and I think they're just getting their name out there. They have uh, what they said is a 2% penetration in households currently. So once that uh, starts getting served out at more quick serve restaurants, um, maybe it'll, and then, uh, once their, uh, costs go down, hopefully they can get out the product, uh, a little bit cheaper to the consumers to make it more easier, uh, to access. Here we have Beyond Meat. Really like this, uh, socially conscious co company. Unfortunately, it's having a really rough day. It is down about 8% for the day. So my total investment was 31.37. And it's sitting at twenty six eighty four, taking about a five hundred dollar loss right now. But what this is not showing is I had fifty shares that I purchased around the seventy eighty dollar range, and I cashed it out for two hundred dollars and ninety nine cents. So I I was able to uh, pull out that extra thirty five dollars on top of the one sixty five, and then get back into my investment for virtually free on that. ETF. This is 1Q, Fidelity NASDAQ Composite Index, and this one tracks the NASDAQ. Um, as you can see, the top 10 out of 971 companies uh, makes up almost uh, 48%. Amazon, Microsoft, Apple, Facebook, Google, Cisco, Intel, and Comcast. So, huge growth. Um, you can see these uh, green boxes here, strong strong sentiment they think the this you know this ETF is hard charging the expense ratio right in the center of the screen is just 0.21% so very cost effective if you want to go the exchange traded fund route here was my start $3000 and 65 cents and currently we're at a gain of 23% $700 gain here is how much it's valued at currently, $3,700.74. thing I have for you is McDonald's. So I got McDonald's, uh, I think in 2016, and the price for uh, McDonald's was about $100 a share, and now it is at $200 per share, $204 exactly. You can see the valuation on the right-hand side. They're, they're saying it's undervalued and they have a price estimate of $220 for this uh, stock. It is also a um, dividend paying stock with a yield of 2.27%. And as you can see uh, in the center of the screen, the annualized dividend is $4.64 per share. So I've had this for about three years and my total... Um, Earnings and growth on this is about 65%. So really nice to have McDonald's. And they say McDonald's is one to hold in a recession as well because people will go back down to uh, those uh, lower priced uh, fast foods, you know, like McDonald's. You can get a McChicken for like a buck and change. Last investment I'll show you in my Roth is McDonald's. Bought it for about... Uh, $123 and it's sitting uh, $204 today. Cost basis was $2,098 uh, with a 65% gain over those three years I've been holding it. It is now currently valued at $3,468 um, plus change. So my total account value is sitting at $42,441. 
really, really happy where this, uh, this account is going and where it's growing. Um, if anything, uh, I'll keep most of these funds, uh, FB socks being my favorite up here. And then if I was going to do any sort of, uh, trading within this, uh, account, um, it would probably most likely would be with Beyond Meat as it uh, matures and as uh, the stock gets a little bit more steady we'll see where that price uh, kind of uh, falls into in the value because it was as high as $200 and uh, it started off in for us normal traders in the uh, $65 range all right guys I hope you enjoyed the uh, the close-up look in my Roth account uh, currently sitting at forty two thousand dollars let me know where you guys are at. I'm currently 41 years old. I have about 18 more years to let this account grow and mature and compound. I will see you guys on the next one. Later.